Terry, it's great seeing you walking this red carpet, but uh, I gotta let you in on a little secret. Last night at the gala, when you were being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I was the voice of God. I was the guy making all the, you know, coming up and all that. So I was sitting behind you while you were standing up on the podium and giving that beautiful speech. Um, and seriously, tears in my eyes. Um, how did it feel being inducted uh, by your peers and more importantly too, being able to talk about your family, your mom, and sharing this with all of us? It was one of the highlights of my career to get to get you know, five minutes on a podium to actually say everything that I've been wanting to say for the last 23 years. Um, you know, the only the only low part of this whole thing is that my mom's not here for it. You know, she was so pivotal in, in encouraging me when I was a little girl and taking me to Nashville, driving me there, um, telling me someday I'd be in the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame. And and here I am, and she wasn't sitting beside me, but I had to acknowledge that in my speech because she was such an important part of my journey, and I'm glad I made it through without having to cry and stop, and uh, barely, barely, it was close. But my family showing up, my mom's sister showed up to be there for her and me. Um, it, it's, it's just a surreal thing, Rudy. It's like, a, you know, it, I thought I'd be much, much older and when something like this happened, if it happened, and... Uh, I'm looking at it like a mid, nice midway milestone, and I'm not, I'm far from finished. I've got a lot of music left in me and a lot left to do, so you, it's a pretty cool thing. You've done so much, uh, whether it be radio, music, all different um, aspects. What is next for you? What is it that you haven't done that you want to do now? Oh, gosh. Well, you know, I, I can honestly say there's not, I, I'm, I'm not like looking for to be greedy. I feel like so much great has already happened in my life and career. I never won a CMA award. Thank you. And uh, that was something I dreamed about when I was a kid. And uh, fortunately, I'm actually, I got nominated for a per Air Personality of the Year last year for a CMA award, and I, I didn't get it, but the fact that I'm actually in the ballpark again is pretty special, and uh, that's, that's a dream that I've always had, to have one of those on my mantle. And, uh, I would love to see my new album do well, and have, have having another top ten hit or, right, or two in the in Canada would be pretty cool. And very quickly, the new album? It's called Raising the Bar, because there's a drinking theme, and it's just about trying to be better, do better, get better, uh, constantly raising that bar in your life as a human being, and for me as an artist as well. So uh, the, the album title does have several different meanings behind that. And my new single is called Young As We Are Tonight, which is pretty appropriate for this whole thing here. I got to tell you, I'm so happy we did our first interview almost 20 years ago, and we're still doing interviews. I'm still on this side, and you are where you belong on the red carpet. Congratulations. Thank you, Rudy. So great to see you.